a beautiful night tonight as you can see the full moon indeed great weather to have an outdoor open air celebration you are looking at the night view of the Chang'an Avenue and this is the bird's eye view crystal clear sky beautiful to prepare for the National Day celebrations, the Chang'an Avenue got its first facelift in the past 10 years. The streets has been widened, uh, more lanes have been added to each direction, and new layer of asphalt has been put so that the city looks more beautiful than ever. Well, the gala is about to start in six minutes, and the gala will last for about two hours. And the directors say, uh, they still have one secret kept until to the last minute to give people a uh, pleasant surprise. Yes, we're not going to spoil the suspense <laughs> now, but we do have some information of some of the things to expect. For instance, a light cube. Exactly, the light cube is going to be huge and there are 428 trees all controlled by people, 428 performers and the light cube will occupy an well, an area of uh, 9,000 square meters. We're looking at the Hua Biao column made of marble, uh, very auspicious signs of the auspicious clouds and the beautiful Tiananmen Gate lit up as a brand new structure, although it's more than 600 years. Now, altogether, 60,000 people will be taking part in the gala celebration and thousands of artists will be performing. Indeed, and we would see many household uh, singers actually. Well, with the Tiananmen Square now is filled with people, they have already started their, their party. Lit up and in the middle of the square is the monument to the national national monument to the people's heroes and you could see actually uh, people joining the festivity are now divided into 12 groups representing uh, different regions and different, different walks, walks of, of life. life yes and uh, flanking the, t the squares on uh, the western and eastern side of the square we can see the 56 nationality columns we were just talking about yeah. these columns were very heavy so that they can sustain very strong wind each weighing 26 tons um, and 13 meters high yeah and uh, on the uh, well this is the national flag flying high in the sky And what is also uh, noticeable for the uh, Night Gala was the uh, fireworks display and it's even uh, bigger than the one we saw last year for the Olympics because it's going to last for 33 minutes all controlled by computers. Yes, we're definitely um, anticipating in that event and now we're looking at different generations of Chinese leaders showing up on top of the Tiananmen Gate getting ready to witness the grand display of China's uh, festivities on the 60th birthday. And we hear the music and the state leaders are about to join people on the Tiananmen Square for the celebration. The Grand Gala is divided into four parts. Now we have we are watching the live picture of state leaders coming to the scene. And the gate of uh, Tiananmen is already crowded with uh, guests and dignitaries from home and abroad. And for all these people, I guess this is the once in a lifetime opportunity. I wish I could be there. Me too. Well, we, we could see on the left corner, we could see the students really excited. Yes, it is a once in a lifetime, maybe not once in a lifetime, but a very precious opportunity for them to take part in the 10th, 60th anniversary as well. And I guess these young people are students and they are just excited to, them, to see themselves on the big screen right on that location. Well, the gala is, uh, has four parts, namely Great Motherland, our birthplace on this vast land, and sunshine everywhere. And we'll see, a we'll hear a series of sounds from different years, and many of the sounds we introduced actually in the uh, 
uh, previous 30 minutes. Yes, for instance, the East is red, which will kick off the celebration and him to the motherland. And state leaders have taken their seats. In about one minute, the gala will start. Members of the Politburo Standing Committee member are seated on top of the Tiananmen Gate. Joining the celebration are people from the uh, districts in Beijing. Now we're here, East Israel. <laughs> 